Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Leslie Hawthorne, and I work for Google's Open Source Program Office uh, on the Summer of Code program, among many other fabulous geeky activities. And I am pleased to present this afternoon Mr. Rock Zlender, who is a Google Summer of Code student for 2006, working with the Drupal project on unit test automation. So without further ado, here's Rock to give us a lightning talk on his uh, particular project. If you have any confidential Google-related questions, please hold them until the end, until after the camera is shut off. And I believe that Rock will also be taking questions at the end of his presentation. Yeah. Excellent. All right, let's get started. Cool, thanks. Um, yeah, my name is Rock Schlinder. My project was unit test automation for Drupal. So let's first see what is Drupal. Drupal is an open source content management system built around uh, PHP and sort of one of the databases. Uh, in core, we have support for MySQL and PostgreSQL. But there are some contributed um, other databases uh, that we can work with. So Drupal is gaining in popularity in the um, last years. Uh, NASA and some of the MTV sites use Drupal. So it's coming along nicely. Drupal consists of uh, core Drupal, which is the, the basic functionality like um, user access, um, content publishing, menu system, stuff like that. And then the biggest part of Drupal is contributed modules, which can do basically everything. If um, there is a question, what can you do with Drupal, there's probably six answers. Um, so six modules can do the stuff you want to do. So this means that the core Drupal, you install core Drupal, and then around it you install additional models and it does what you want to do. So how is uh, Drupal evolving? Everything is built around issue queue. So if you want a new feature, if you find a bug, you post an issue, and some of the more, um, how do you say that, more geeky people from Drupal will come in and uh, write a patch, and then the feature will be implemented in Drupal. So why do we need my project? Um, as I said, there is core Drupal and the patches. Um, everything that is done in core Drupal goes through this patch system. So if somebody posts a patch, do you all know what patch is? Just checking. Cool. <laughs> um, it means that some of the core people that start a Drupal project must first look at a patch and approve it. So uh, that means they have to check if it even applies, check if there is some syntax errors in it, and check if um, the code that is written is good enough to implement it in core. So that's why my project come in with automatic testing of patch. It tests if patch applies and if patch passes simple test tests. So this basically means that the, the people that uh, look at these patches don't need to manually go through this process, which is quite tedious and long-lasting. And they probably have uh, better things to do than this. So this basically means that they save a lot of time and work on other features that are more important for Drupal. So how does my module work? Developer submits a patch. Um, on any feature or bug. My module then installs the new Drupal site automatically, applies a patch, and run tests. So, um, and then, of course, the results are processed, and the developer finds out if his patch is good enough or if it, it, is, if it is even um, okay, syntax-wise, and of course, if it even applies. So right now, I'll show you a quick demo of this. Okay, so this is a, this is a first page that you look at. On the right side, there is a test your patch block. So here you can choose for which project of Drupal your patch is for, like uh, Drupal core or some maybe contributed models, let's say Drupal core, which version of Drupal, let's say Drupal 5. And then um, 
you submit an URL to your patch and click test and then everything is done in the background like um, like I said before new Drupal site is installed the patch is applied and tests are run and then you get your results like something like this status failed and then the failure message is some are not finished yet but you get a picture Okay, so this basically means that if the patch doesn't even apply, you will see it instantaneously. It will say patch did not apply, write another patch, and uh, core contributors don't need to look at your patch and waste their time on it. So as I said, benefits. Every patch that goes into uh, Drupal core and that is accepted must is partly tested with this simple test unit test and all tests are run every time on each patch it's also important because usually you don't have time to run all the tests on the patch so this way automatically it gets everything is tested and you, you sort of have some assurance that your patch is good uh, this is also important there usually there is some waiting time before you submit a patch and some of the core guys have time to take a look at it and say your patch is missing something or you have a syntax error somewhere this way you can get a response very quickly and you can um, you can fix your patch and reapply it. and as I said core maintainers don't lose their time with simple checks okay so what does the future holds for this uh, unit test automation we of course we need to expand the number of tests because right now there is uh, just a small number of tests that tests only the core part of Drupal only the most important features um, this is unfortunately not done yet to use the automatic testing in the Drupal development in everyday use we had some problems with um, well a lot of problems with uh, integrating with issue queue or Drupal and stuff like that and okay, this is this is one of the most important features that we have in the future to use virtualization for testing that would mean that you could test your patch on um, let's say MySQL 5 and 4 and 3 and it will all together be um, processed and returned to you instantaneously so you, don't, you wouldn't have to build your own environment for testing. It would be already built somewhere on some server, and it will be tested then. OK, so thank you for your time. This is, if you have any questions, I'll be very glad to answer any of them. Yes, please, Leslie. So how do you figure out if a patch actually applies or not? What's the criteria used by Drupal to judge whether or not a patch is available? OK, so Leslie asked, um, how do I know if a uh, patch even applies? Well. This is done in um, uh, with uh, console commands like uh, patch, and if that um, returns an error, that means the patch doesn't apply. Cool. Um, about uh, two months, something like that. Yes, in a very small matter, because I didn't have time because of school. Okay. So you're still working on it. That's yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I still work. I still work on this virtualization part now. Yes, very good. So uh, shameless Google plug is that, uh, as I said at the beginning, Rock is one of our Google Summer of Code students. And we are going to be taking student applications for the program for 2007 uh, starting tomorrow, March 14th. And that should be running through March 24th. So you, too, can do something as ultra cool as saving developers of the Drupal project, which is a really uh, cool open source project that's used by a lot of nonprofit organizations and 
folks who probably can't afford to get large-scale software systems installed to make their websites do the things that they need to do, and you could be contributing to making that happen. So please, please do sign up for Summer of Code. It's code dot google dot com slash soc like summer of code uh, we would love to see your application thanks for coming everybody